so in this lecture i'm going to uh, quickly introduce proper orthogonal decomposition for the solution of burger's equation uh, i will be using uh, a technique called singular value decomposition uh, to compute proper orthogonal decomposition uh, by proper orthogonal decomposition i mean uh, that uh, if i have a vector then i can write the vector uh, into a linear combination of other vectors those vectors are orthogonal and uh, i'll call this decomposition a vector equals sum of other vectors so this is a decomposition so this decomposition is a proper orthogonal decomposition so in principle uh, we can take any vector and mathematically we can write the vector uh, as a linear combination of uh, a set of orthogonal vectors so uh, for the purpose uh, a proper orthogonal decomposition for burger's equation or for a mathematical model uh, is to understand the time marching nature uh, of, of the solution of the mathematical model what i will do uh, is that we will take the solution and every time step i will have the solution as a vector and i will put it into uh, a column of a matrix so each column uh, of the matrix will be a time snapshot so first column will be solution at t equals zero second column will be solution at, at the first time step Sec third column is the next time step fourth column is the next time step and so on so then I will have a matrix and then I will apply a singular value decomposition of the matrix. So when I have a matrix, if I take the singular value decomposition, then uh, the left singular vectors will give me uh, a set of uh, orthogonal vectors. Uh, those vectors can be used uh to to span each column of my original matrix or each column uh, of my original matrix can be written as a linear combination of uh, the left singular vectors of singular value decomposition and the singular values and right singular vectors will represent uh, the coefficient and other properties what happens is that uh, for a pde or for a mathematical model uh, the solution are merged forward in time uh, that means that solution at a time step will be possibly highly correlated with the next time step or the previous time step. not necessarily always if the solution is chaotic but in some case it may be so then we can look at the proper orthogonal decomposition and then we can reconstruct the solution using a reduced number of bases so let's say if originally i have 100 vectors in my proper orthogonal decomposition that span each column of my matrix or solution uh, maybe we can use uh, only five of them or only ten of them and uh, if we can uh, have a subset of the vectors uh, to, to reproduce the solution so that could be potentially a reduced order representation of the of the uh, of the solution or of the mathematical model so let's let's take a look at some computer code so here i have uh, the solution of burger's equation that i'm not going to uh, show you the code i will just show you the solution on line 57 here uh, i have taken or i have considered the singular value decomposition so or the proper orthogonal decomposition is just one line of code so i have uh, the sol which is the solution vector that I pass into the SVD command, the first argument, and the second argument, full matrices equals false. It tells me that uh, I can just uh, do some sort of uh, economy mode uh, singular value decomposition. And on line 50, 
what I'm doing here is that I'm taking only 10 modes of the uh, 10 of the solution modes and then on line 51 I am reconstructing the solution so I'm not uh, I'll, I'll come back and, and discuss uh, this course later on uh, this is just uh, a very first introduction uh, of the idea so here is the solution so the left plot is the space-time solution of Burger's equation the right plot is showing few time snapshot so the uh, uh, let's take a vertical line here and the plot the solution this is the first curve take another vertical line plot the solution is the next curve and so on so those are each columns and then uh, i plot the uh, solution again uh, uh, the, this one the left one is my original solution and right one is the reconstructed reconstructed solution using only 10 pod modes what it tells us that uh, if i take the space time solution of a mathematical model and then uh, each time snapshot uh, i rewrite is a linear combination uh, of, of some suitable vectors and here i have done it by singular value decomposition and i call it proper orthogonal decomposition then in, in, in this case it, it it tells me that i can have only 10 um, singular vectors or 10 proper orthogonal decomposition mode or we call here generally pod modes and then uh, those pod modes uh, uh, just uh, giving me from from this visualization it, it tells me that uh, we can just get the original solution or very close to the original solution using only few modes and that that is very interesting and powerful technique we will be exploring little more and this is something a data driven way of looking at mathematical modeling uh, or in fluid, fluid dynamics thank you very much